the scripture for this sermon, uh, the Sermon on the Mount, part 3, is from Matthew 5, verses 8 through 12. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Blessed are the pure in heart. The love of God is the foundation of a pure heart. This heart is cleansed by God's grace. Therefore, the pure in heart avoid hidden sins. They avoid evil company, and they are faithful in marriage. God will reveal himself to them in all things and provide all their needs. The pure in heart see God acting through the means of grace. They are honest to all and do not need to swear oaths. However, they can swear an oath in the court of law. The pure in heart see God in everyone and everything. Blessed are the peacemakers. Peacemakers are inwardly and outwardly holy. They do all manner of good. They increase goodwill and attempt to reconcile people with each other. They work for the good of all. Peacemakers meet physical needs, too. They minister to souls as well by lifting up the weak and encouraging the strong. Peacemakers are children of God. And finally, blessed are the persecuted. Peacemakers should be highly regarded and loved on this earth. But in fact, they will be persecuted as Jesus was, because they are righteous and do not conform to the world. Non-believers will always oppose believers. But God ultimately controls the persecutions and uses them to advance his purposes. Mercifully, most persecutions are of a lesser kind. For example, the loss of friends, jobs, and so forth. Persecution is inevitable. It is a badge of our discipleship. There will be no letting up of persecution in this life. Do not seek persecution, but on the other hand, do not always try to avoid persecution. Rather, rejoice and be glad that you are worthy to suffer for Christ's sake. Do not return evil for evil. Continue in meekness and provide for your family and those in the faith, especially. Love your enemies, return good for evil, and forgive them. And be perfect, as your Heavenly Father is perfect. This is the genuine and beautiful religion of Jesus Christ. Therefore, be not just hearers of the word, but doers. Let it be written in your hearts and persevere until you are holy and perfect.